Hi guys, and welcome back to CP's walkthrough of Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, Left 4 Dead 1, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, last part we left off was um, after getting into the caboose, after multiple attempts of getting Lewis in there, because he was acting like a moron. Uh, so, finally, we're out in this, uh, train yard. Uh, and if you go up this tower like I am, you can usually find yourself some pretty good supplies, sometimes even tire two weapons. That's the frame rate issue. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say, and I'm sorry for that. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say. Um, actually, if I think about it right now, uh, this might be one of my favorite levels for Left 4 Dead 1. Which is kind of funny, because also, the same day I made, uh, I did this level, I did my most hated level in Left 4 Dead 2, and that's the first level of, um, Carnival. I don't, I love Dark Carnival, it's my favorite campaign, but I hate its first level the most. Yeah, and you saw a little cut right there, that's because uh, somebody called me and I had to take it. And here I am looking around for that witch who's just uh, hiding behind the bus, so I decided not to mess with her. And here there are most times always four pills in that first aid box. And usually some kind of throwable weapon on the table or the shelf. Um, something, uh, I wanted to say. In Left 4 Dead 2, all that stuff, like the sound mods and the skins I have downloaded, are not made by me. But that tank, we will, we will rock you, I did make. I had a heck of a time making it, but I was able to make it. So. Um, I plan on making little tutorials like that stuff, so I might post one on how that. Holy crap, that tank is moving fast. I knew tanks move faster if they're on fire, but I didn't know that fast. Well, um, yeah. Also, I have a failed sound mod in this game. You might have heard, uh, like, all the times when I kill a boomer, there's a really low-pitched sound afterwards. That's because uh, there are three boomer explosion sounds, and I replaced each one with Bob Saget from Turret Sky, um, Kaboom from Demo Man, and what was the other one? Oh yeah, the WTF boom thing. I don't know what it, what it was by. It was made by that one guy, giant black lips and two eyes. Says I'm the fire in my laser that kind of stuff. All of this guy was it? I don't know. 
know a lot of my other friends. But, uh, yeah. And yeah, this next part here is precisely the reason why it's my favorite level. Because there's a crazy church guy uh, loitering in this church. And the backstory on this guy is he let someone in there who promised that he wasn't infected. And when he got in, he bit him, and now he's like freaking out that he's going to put in there so he's not letting anyone in anymore. And anyone who comes by, he wins that bell, which uh, draws a massive board towards you. He just basically got a hole out until he uh, turns into a zombie himself. Yeah, and then like you hear that bell power down sound. And then if you go up and listen to him, you can hear him saying "must be immune, better safe than sorry," that kind of stuff. But in like a zombie grown voice. And at the end, you're just going to get a random special. If you're still doing this, you get a random special infected and. Uh, 